Hello everyone, Minikins here. Monster Hunter Iceborne's third title update is introducing two variant monsters which will become available in March for console players and April for PC players. Variant monsters are a more powerful version of their species and have extra mechanics. So while they may look very similar to the original monster, the battle will feel different and be more hectic. We have the Raging Bracadios and Furious Rajang. We've already had some variants in Iceborne, Seething Basil and Savage Devil Joe. If you played against the original versions, you will know these are simply not reskins. Raging Bracadios was first introduced in Monster Hunter 4. He is noticeably larger than the original version and his slime is much more explosive, often detonating almost immediately. The ground shakes when he pounds the ground, making attacks feel very powerful. He looks like he may even have some sort of supernova type move, which has a huge radius. The developers have already said in a recent developer diary that players will be locked in the room with this guy during certain phases. Even forecasters will be rendered useless. It's a live or die situation, players will have no choice but to deal with the monster's mechanics. The second monster is a Furious Rajang. PC players just got the update for the original version. If you thought that guy was rough, well this guy is just crazy. Furious Rajang, like the name sounds, is extremely aggressive, strong and faster than its original version. When you encounter him, he's golden in colour to begin with, suggesting he's already enraged. But when you fight him, you will soon discover that when this guy enrages, he emits an aura of gold lightning. Unlike the original Rajang, this furious version starts off with his tail already broken, which could explain why he's so mad. Out of both the new monsters coming, I think Furious Rajang is going to be harder. The tempered version of the original Rajang can be challenging and capable of one-shotting an unprepared hunter, so I can imagine this version hitting harder and faster will give people a good challenge, or maybe a few broken gamepads. I'm really interested to see what type of weapons may be crafted with this materials, as it stands, the original Rajang has some of the highest raw damage weapons in the game. Bracadios also looks very interesting and much deadlier than his counterpart already in Iceborne. I think the Palicos are going to need a bigger cart because I foresee a lot of feints incoming. Furious Rajang's armor set is coming with a brand new set bonus. The Palico armor is super cute and looks like it's been inspired by the Monkey King, which is an ancient Chinese story about a famous monk. Bracadia's armor is going to include the Agitator set bonus. Not sure if you can mix and match this with the ones currently in game. I really love the design of this Palico armor, it's like a mini Bracadios, and I'm sure Dee will be really excited about that. There's a new item being introduced for the Guiding Lands called the Banishing Ball, which lets the quest leader remove a monster from the area. There's also going to be various other updates to the game. Raise the maximum level of Master Rank Armor upgrades, so you're going to be able to use Armor Spheres to upgrade your armor even further. Added an augmentation feature that lets you customize the look of your weapon, and this is basically layered armor for your weapon. Now this is coming in two parts, so not all weapons will be able to be modified right away, but that's something that we can look forward to. Added an option to the Steamworks to let you change the Steamworks output. Changed applied to the Steamworks so that you can activate the auto mode after sending your Steamworks into overdrive. You can now collect item rewards on the round just before Steamworks overdrive. Change applied so you can now receive Hunter Helper rewards from the Master Rank quests. The developers have said that basically you're going to get rewards if you're helping people of a lower Hunter Rank than yourself. So this is going to be nice just to encourage people to help out lower Rank people to get their missions done. New designs for squad cards added. New pendants have been added. And some of the charms have also been upgraded to an additional level. The Fury Charm, Power Charm, Mighty Charm and the Challenger Charm. And there's also the usual various bug fixes. Some of these new additions are going to be paid for content, like the room decor, including a new theme for your room, as well as various monster figurines. There's also BGMs that you can purchase for your room, a lot of remixes of the various monster songs in Monster Hunter World. Hello. 
There's also various pendants that you can pay for, like the Pookie strap. This one's really quite cute. There is also a new sticker set that you can get. They've also added some free content as well with new hairstyles of your favourite Monster Hunter characters. There's a new festival coming in April which will bring back most of the event quests as well as some new ones, giving you the opportunity to collect some special items from both the fest itself and event quests. I hope you haven't thrown your Cult Tariff weapons away yet as there's an upcoming Master Rank version which will drop materials that can be used to upgrade the weapons. The Master Rank version will appear as an event quest and start in Area 2. The High Rank version is still going to be made available for people to collect the original weapons and Capcom have made the drops easier to get with the update as well. She's going to be much easier to defeat anyway with all the new equipment from Master Rank. There's going to be some new arch-tempered monsters, with the first being Naniel. Capcom have also revealed Elatrian as a new monster coming in the fourth free title update. This is a multi-elemental elder dragon. This is going to be an interesting fight that you will require a change of tactic in an instant and may require using armor with no elemental weaknesses. Overall, Capcom have got a huge amount of content to look forward to. As always, thanks for watching, please support the channel by liking and subscribing and I'll see you next time.